Welcome back guys. Today we're going to do something completely original that no one on the internet has ever thought of. I'm going to taste Japanese sweeties. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get started and I thought first I'll start with the drink. You get a little Pikachu at the front here. Now this, I don't know if you can see, has got Pikachu on the front there. Bright yellow and even a little tail on the back. Now this is apparently a Cucumber flavoured sparkling water, or maybe just water. Now I'm not sure why, but I don't know why part of my brain thought it'd be green. It tastes quite nice. It definitely smells like melon, but it definitely tastes like cucumber and sparkling water. Quite refreshing, I'll have it in between. We'll just pick one. This one here. I think it's pronounced Yan Yan. And it says it's creamy flavoured dip biscuit snack. So this is very similar to something we have in the UK. I think it's called a choc dip or a choco dip where you get sticks in the side and you dip them in a like sort of chocolate or cream flavoured filling at the side there. So this is creamy vanilla flavoured. Yeah, so there's what I mean. There's the sticks in there and like a sort of dip in chocolate in the side. The sticks are huge. Mm. That's quite nice. The um the dip tastes a little bit a little like vanilla but like almost like sort of milk and vanilla if that makes sense but yeah that, that is a uh, quite a nice one i'd recommend that one pop that back down in there we'll go for this one here now again lots of japanese characters on it and and i think that's a corn down there at the very bottom it does say corn potage I always love the packaging you get on like Japanese sweets and things like that. Just compared to what we've got over here, a lot of the UK sweets are they're a little bit boring. They, they may taste good, but the packaging is well, the packaging is bland. You know, look at this. You know the sort of characters on it, the the text, the, the, the like a big red writing up here. Again, no idea what it actually says, but it, everything just sort of stands out and it's, it, it's kind of makes it a little bit more enjoyable to eat. Although it does feel like it's a, I don't know, it feels, it feels like a really long crisp. And that seems to be exactly what it is. Well, that, that's very strange. I don't know if I can get that as close to the camera as possible. It is, but again, I'm not sure what it'd be in other countries, but if you're in the UK, it looks like a giant what's it. It even has a sort of texture of a giant water. Mm. Very, very, very much taste of corn. Mm. Not the nicest flavour for myself. I'm not the biggest fan of corn, but it's actually it's actually quite nice compared to a lot of like corn flavour things you get. It's a it smells a little bit nicer than it tastes, but. Yeah, if that is just like a giant WhatsApp. Now these confuse me a little bit because they do have an English description on the back and it didn't really help me anymore to understand what was actually in them. I don't know if you can see what the sort of design of them is. That's, that's basically what's inside them. They're like little... There we go. And then on the back it says that they're bourbon lumberjack tree stump biscuits. So I'm not sure if that's bourbon as in the alcohol or bourbon like the, the British biscuits we have, the, the bourbons. And then it says lumberjack tree stump. Well, they open down here. Okay, there's. A little green packet in the box. There's also a 
what looks to be like a spot the difference game on the lid and some sort of QR code I'm probably sure that links to their website or something let's have a little look again the, the character is everywhere the Brandon is just covered in this little lumberjack well they're they're quite small I thought they were going to be bigger than this so it's supposed to be like a little tree stump with dirt at the bottom and there's like a, a swirly pattern on it it tastes just like a a biscuit just a pl plain some biscuit on top and just a really nice sort of soft chocolate on the bottom if I was to think of something that kind of reminds me of it'd be do you know the sort of uh, animal biscuits you get in the UK the sort of I think it's Capri's that make them there's a chocolate on one side and then like an animal shape or print on the other but that's just the closest thing it reminds me of they're very nice and you do get quite a few in there so we've gotten through a few things already now I'm looking at these and I think most people will be familiar with Pocky now these particular ones are white chocolate flavour biscuit although it does have a little I don't know if you can see that here it's a little embossed bottle of milk so I'm not sure if it's like a really milky white chocolate or it just is white chocolate flavoured biscuit stick very very understated packaging compared to most of the other things here there's no it's just the the, the pocky branding and, and nothing else okay so there we go I mean it's pocky so everybody kind of knows what it looks like I wonder I mean, all the, the text is all in English, front and back. Do you think this is probably more of it consumed outside of Japan than actually in Japan? Because it always seems to be like, like specialty sweet shops over here that are selling it, or, or you can buy, you know, Pocky online. I wonder how much they actually buy of it in, in Japan. It was quite nice, very understated. Very, uh, I mean, it's got a really nice sort of white chocolate flavour, but it's not like the white chocolate we get over here. It's, uh, it's so much. I think, obviously, given the fact there's a milk bottle on it, it's definitely milkier, creamier chocolate rather than the very sort of really high, like really sweet chocolate we get over here when you have the things like milky bars and, and stuff like that when you get your white chocolate. No, definitely. Very nice. But I can imagine those will disappear very fast. But on to our next one, we will... I suppose we'll go down the line comparing them. So we'll go with the next one, which is again, Pocky again. This one a little bit a little bit more branded on it. It's got the, the big panda face. Again, the milk container. But this one, and it says that it is just chocolate flavour. So I don't know if... Is this going to be the same as these ones, or if these ones are fancier? Because this is like a different, like bigger pack. Hmm. I don't know if maybe these are more premium. Although these ones do have, like, all these sort of crispy bits on them as well. So, let's have a little look. Oh yeah, they're a lot different. So they've got, they've got like, sort of, I don't know if it's chocolatey biscuit bits on this sort of milky coating. very nice very understated again much like those ones it's very it's not like a intense really sweet sugary like chocolate and the little bits around it they're they're quite nice but they only add a, a touch to it I'm not testing a lot more than than those ones but that's not to say I wouldn't recommend them I'm just not sure why the difference in sort of branding and size, you know, of these ones. But along the same line as these, we have these called Pretz, which I'm assuming is a different, oh no, it's the same company actually, looking at the, the brand up the top here. 
So this must be a different sort of thing they do, so it's like a pretzel stick. And apparently this one, I don't know if you can see the flavour there, is apparently vanilla, green tea and vanilla flavour. So it's got like a little green tea cake and like a vanilla pod next to it. And again with the brand, and look at the little cap there. <laughs> it's even got some instructions on the back as to what to do with your box of, of sweets you've got. No, I'll see if I can show you this. So it says first picture, you've got your box of sweets. Second picture, put them on the floor. Take a photo of your cat next to them and then take a photo of just your cat lying down. So they look very similar. Oh, oh no, these, these are, I'll put things down so I can show people. They're just the pretzel on its own, like the stick essentially, without any sort of coating on it. So it must be flavoured all sort of internally. Mm. Very, very strong on the tea. I mean, it's a nice flavour if you like green tea and you like matcha tea and things like that, but if that's not, well, your cup of tea, then I, I don't think you would like these. I think I may have to hide these ones away and eat them to myself. We have this little thing here. I'm not really sure. It is, it's a caplico stick, chocolate flavour. I'm, I'm not really sure what it is. Let's have a little look. So I'm not really sure what this one is. It's a little sort of cone. If you can see that, it looks like a little ice cream cone of sorts. It's very chocolatey smelling, but I'm not sure if there's anything inside the cone. No, that's very nice. It's uh, just a standard cone on the outside, like any sort of ice cream cone. But inside, I don't know if you can see it, but the chocolate is very... Very much like a, uh, like an arrow. Yeah, very much, yeah, an arrow, that's what I'm thinking of. Very bubbly, very airy inside, so when you bit into it, it kind of just all melted in your mouth straight away. But it's a much sweeter chocolate than an arrow or anything like that, I guess. Just before, just after I finished sort of eating this one, the camera decided to run out of storage space, so that was fun. So we'll, we'll get back into this. So. These ones here, I was just about to open them. These are One Bite Biscuits, chocolate flavour. Look at these little cute little animals on the front of them. Now, I think these are just little... I'm not sure, they're just little chocolate biscuits. I don't know if that will focus on that, but it's supposed to be... I think this one's a teddy bear. I'm, I'm not really sure. It's got ears or a bow, but let's have a look. It's a chocolate biscuit. It's a, uh, there's not really much more I can say about it apart from that. It's a nice one, but it's quite plain. I think that's everything here. Oh no. We've got this little one at the front. Now this, again, trying to get it to not be too bright on it. This is a matcha, a yuzu matcha Kit Kat. Is yuza, yuzu matcha, is that just like a green tea? We shall soon see when we open it. If I can get this open. Okay. That is a slightly melted, very, very green Kit Kat. See, this is one thing. We don't have any like Kit Kats in the UK that are like fun flavours apart from chocolate. I think uh, now and again they bring the odd special one out. But... The amount of uh, like Japanese Kit Kats I've seen that have like, so many funky flavours and everything and we get stuck with chocolate. I think they should bring out these types of Kit Kats over here, even if they're in like limited editions or like specialty boxes, that sort of thing. Hmm. That is a... Uh, I wasn't expecting like there's quite a sharp lemon. I mean, given the fact that there's a 
a lemon on a packet. I really should expect that, but it's like a green tea, but then it's really lemony. It's actually really nice, but not what you'd expect from a Kit Kat. Um, sadly, I'm now covered in in green air. Green chocolate, or but behind here we have. I don't know if you can make that out, but it's, it says bubble milk. I think it's t bubble milk tea, and is it is it mochi or mo mochi or I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's Taiwan bubble tea, bubble milk tea, chocolate. Now I've had a version of this before, not a bubble tea one, but a little strawberry one. And it was really nice, and I think the other one I had once was a, a like mochi or mochi with red bean. Because red bean, I think, is quite common in a lot of Japanese like sweeties and things like that. Is it red bean paste? It's very nice. But I think what these actually are is they're like little. It's strange to say they're like little rice balls, but they're. I mean, they don't look like rice, but they're sort of like a really sticky, glutinous rice, kind of all stuck, like all sort of rolled together as it's the best word to put it but i quite like them there there i suppose it's a maybe an acquired taste but i've never had bubble tea ones so this should be a little bit different if i can get into that now, i don't know if you can see this but they're sort of coated in a flower and they're like sort of very squishy it's almost it's a strange to describe it this way and it's the only way I could think of doing it but they're like you see them they're they're almost a stretchy it's like a a jelly or a a slime not slime because it's not quite as soft as that but it's over the top of a usually red bean paste or whatever filling it is and in this case it's the Taiwan bubble milk tea chocolate so I don't know if it's just a square of chocolate in the middle or actual just flavouring. There's definitely white chocolate or like some form of chocolate and it's very sweet but it's absolutely lovely. It's a strange sensation when like you see how sort of stretchy and I don't want to say it's <laughs> a little almost flesh like but or silicony more that's probably better. But it's absolutely lovely and the filling is amazing. I think I may have another one. But this is again something that I you don't really see anywhere at all. It's it's you know, apart from whenever I've watched any sort of YouTube travel vlogs and people are in Japan, you see lots of them trying. It's normally a lot bigger than, than this. This is quite like small one. Normally they're they're quite a lot bigger and they're usually sort of more freshly made it's sort of stalls and things like that and i imagine those ones taste a lot better because these are obviously packaged and shipped so they're not as fresh but i don't think I've, there's anything i can think of in the uk that's anywhere close to what this would actually be i think it's because they're very very sweet and you can't really go wrong with something that's really sweet but and they've got a lot of flavour to them. And they've got this, I don't know if it's flour or, but there's a coating on them. It's absolutely lovely. And you end up with flour all over your hands. But this is something that wouldn't last long. Like I say, most of this I've saved up as a little bits and pieces for my the other half. And I think I might have to put a lot of it away or I will be tempted to eat most of this if not all of this because it's lovely the only things I was a little bit let down by were those chocolate biscuits here at the front they were very just ordinary biscuits but the the matcha tea the little matcha tea Kit Kat was fantastic and these were really 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 strong with the the matcha tea flavouring so I definitely recommend those like I say everything else was, was nice as well the strange crisp this thing um i'm not sure what i make of that it was honestly uh, like it's just like a giant what's it let's see if we can get this all the way out of the packaging i mean it's so peculiar 
I think maybe if it was a different flavour one. Maybe not corn. I mean, I imagine they'll do other flavours, other varieties, but definitely think it'd be nice if it, if it wasn't corn flavoured. But for me, I think the best thing has to be these. These little things. Well, like I say, I'll have to put them away before they disappear. But all in all, I'd recommend it. The from there, I think this one was about twenty pound, about nineteen ninety nine. And that gave you everything. The juice I, I it was purchased separately, let's say. So I think that's an extra like two pound order, two pound fifty. But yeah, definitely, I, I would say it's worth the money, especially if you want to just try something different or unique that you've you maybe never had before. I will obviously do some other ones. Let's say this is just little Japanese ones, sort of quick ones. But I might might try some other Japanese foods, not so much their snacks. Maybe some you know some other actual sort of normal foods rather than snack foods, and. Just to get a little taster for things because as i said in the previous video i do plan on obviously going to japan at the end of next year and if i can overdose myself in as much of japan as possible you know that is not that's not a bad thing but yeah i might have to try try them out for some they do other bigger ones and another benefit of all of this is this particular company the, the tofu cute they they have the option to make all of their their bags which this one is vegan so you know you don't have to worry about there being any animal products or anything in them at all they say you can have the option to have you know one with the other things in them but i think you know given what's here it's a for being the vegan one i say they've not missed out on anything so i definitely recommend if you if you like this sort of thing let's say to, to maybe purchase it and who doesn't want a little lucky cat bag? I mean, look at it. Give me a little straps that you can put on. Now this is going to fall over, so... Okay, we'll leave it there. Definitely going to do more of these types of videos. It's fun just to love to have little taste tests, you know, just to see what... what sweeties are like in different countries. Especially because I'm used to the sort of same ones we have over here. You get used to your favourites and just end up eating them all the time. If you have tried any sort of Japanese sweeties, or if you know of any of the ones that I've been tasting here, what would be your favourites? Uh, what are your favourites from ones you've tasted? And if you can recommend maybe any other websites that do maybe other food boxes from around the world or anything like that, leave that in the comments below and hopefully we'll get some of, more of these videos done. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tidy all this up and I'm going to hide it all so that I don't end up eating every single thing that's in here although some more things might go missing in the transition from here to the kitchen I'm gonna end the video here if you've enjoyed this please uh, hit the like button subscribe if you want some more of this leave me any comments down below if you've got any suggestions as I said before of any different food boxes a uh, websites that I can go into and get maybe you know some boxes from other countries throughout the world and taste some of the sweets or, or foods and or even if you just have any other recommendations for any sort of Japanese sweeties you think would be quite good, let's say leave that in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.